Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So, I got this comment on one of my videos. I don't remember exactly which one it was. I think it might have been the updated video I did on how to beat laziness, which you can check out here. If not, heck, that's a pretty fucking good video, so you might as well check it out. But I got this comment I'm going to read you. It's from Orb Goblin. <laughs> I like that name, Orb Goblin. He says, I guess I'm just wondering where you draw the line between positive self-talk and bullshitting slash deluding yourself. I've met a lot of mediocre people who talk and think very highly of themselves. I've certainly been guilty of this in the past. How do you balance positive self-talk with keeping some kind of honesty about your faults and weaknesses? So I think this is a great question, a really good comment, because this is something that that gets very easily confused, right? Okay, so in that video I believe I was talking about, and I talk about this all the time, about having a positive self-talk. So you could call it positive affirmations if you want to, but essentially, you know, at least in the laziness video, I said do not call yourself lazy, call yourself a motivated individual. Say in the past, I used to be lazy. Don't refer to yourself in a negative way because your subconscious is listening, right? This is true. Your subconscious listens to what you say and it believes that about yourself. And if you're familiar with Dr. Maxwell Maltz and Psycho-Cybernetics, which I'll link to here, definitely read that book. Basically, you cannot be anything but what your subconscious or your self-identity is, right? You will conform to what you think you are, okay? Now, with that said, okay, that doesn't mean that you want to delude yourself, right? Thinking and talking positively about yourself is a very good thing, but you also need to be a realist and be very realistic with whatever your faults and weaknesses are, right? So, you know, I think in this case, Orb Goblin is confused. He's like, you know, where do you draw this line between positive self-talk and bullshitting or deluding yourself, right? So, you know, he talks about that he's met mediocre people who talk and think very highly of themselves, right? And he's been guilty of it. I've been guilty of it. We've all been guilty of it. I define arrogance as is, is talking about or bragging about yourself, right? For, for something that you know is not true, okay? So, so basically, if you're arrogant, right, it, it's when you say something about yourself that you know is not true, okay? And that comes from an actual lack of confidence. So arrogant people, right, so, so someone typically is not arrogant, at least in my book, if what they're saying about themselves is something that they believe and is true, okay? Like I can brag about myself, I can say great things about myself, and I can believe in myself and believe that I'm the fucking best thing since sliced bread, but if I tell you that in such a way that I honestly believe that, like I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not bragging, but I'm bragging, you know what I'm saying? But because I honestly believe that, like I believe I'm fucking awesome, all right? And I do. I, if you hear me say that, I really believe it. So it doesn't come off as arrogant. Whereas if I try to convince you of something that I don't believe myself, right? This is arrogance. It's me trying to convince you of something that I don't believe myself then it comes off as arrogant because you know it's it's trying too hard. You know that it's not coming from a place of confidence, that I don't actually believe this about myself. I'm trying to project something. I'm trying to get you to accept a reality that I don't believe myself so that I can accept the reality. I want you to validate me, right, by me bragging and telling you about how great I am of something that I don't believe because if you believe it, then maybe I can start to believe it about myself and I'll feel good about myself, right? You see what I'm saying? That's what validation is, okay? And that's what arrogance is. And I know I'm going a little bit off track here, but my point is, is that, and, and I've talked about this a lot before, I have a, a video, I'm gonna link to a few videos here, but this video about looking in the mirror, honestly looking in the mirror. I think I did this video when I shaved my head, but, but this is something that you have to do. You have to have an honest self-assessment of yourself and know exactly where you fall, right? I mean, if you, if you are overweight, if you're fat, you need to look in the mirror, you know, stand there naked and be like, I am a fucking fat ass, okay? And, and but but you don't judge yourself on that, right? It's, it's not like, it's not like it's, it's so bad and wrong. I've talked about this as well, but you don't want to judge yourself. You just want to be the third party observer, seeing a reality as clear as possible, not judgmental about it, and just say, you know, this is what, 
what it is, right? You're, you're fat or, or you are not in the past. You have acted in a way that has not been industrious. Okay. You've acted in a way that might be called lazy, right? You've, you've done some things, right? You, you, whatever it is, you need to have an honest assessment. You are afraid you have fears. Okay. You, you currently have fears again, not a judgment, right? It's not, you're bad because you have fears or you're a shitty person, John, because you're afraid of, of whatever it is, or you have social anxiety, right? But it's just like, this is how you've been portraying yourself and acting, right? This is the current state of where things are, right? So that now you can lift up from that state. Okay. So the positive self-talk is different, right? Then, then see, see the thing is like, if you're deluding yourself or bullshitting yourself, okay, this is where that line is drawn. The del deluding yourself and bullshitting yourself is when you're refusing to look in the mirror and refusing to face the facts and to re refusing to face the honest reality. And, and that's where the air, that's why I mentioned arrogance is because it's typically going to be arrogance, right? It's like, you're trying to convince other people of something you don't believe. That's arrogance in my mind. Okay. It's not confidence. Confidence is, is, you know, the outcome of a thing. This is how I define confidence. All right. So, so, so do you see what I'm saying here? So, so the difference again, between bullshitting and deleting yourself is essentially that, that line of arrogance, because if you are saying stuff about yourself, that's not true. And you know that that's not true. You know, this is bullshit. Okay. And you know that this is not reality. Then this is not, this is bullshitting. This is deluding yourself. It's not facing reality, but if you can face reality, right again, like if we take this laziness thing where, where this came from, I believe, and we said, okay, the reality of the situation is that in the past, I have not been, I have been lazy. I have, and I'm not making excuses for it. Right. I have, I have not acted in an industrious way. I have delayed doing things. I've given into procrastination. I've not accomplished what I could. I've not made the best effort that I could in life. And I have, I've preferred to slack off. That is what I have done. And that is my history, right? That's an honest assessment. Okay. And that that's an honest assessment of, assessment of your state, but then what can also be honest is to say, but I refuse to be that person anymore. What I am and what I am capable of and what I choose to believe about myself is that I am a hardworking industrial. I don't know why I keep on using the word industrious, but I like it. All right. Industrious person who gets shit done. I'm a fucking bulldog and that's what I strive to be. And that's what I'm going to commit to being. And that's who I am at my core. That's what I'm meant to be. That's what I want to be. That's who, that's who I am designed to be on this fucking earth. Mother fucker. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's positive self-talk. That's not deluding at all. It's not bullshit. Deluding is to say, you know what? It, you're not really lazy. Like the, the stuff you did in the past, it wasn't your fault. You're trying as hard as you can, John. Like you're actually doing a pretty good job. I mean, honestly, you're actually like doing a lot of stuff. Like you're doing more than like a fucking homeless person or, or this person over there. And you know, you, you're, you're kind of sick and, and you don't feel so good. And like, you know, you need to give yourself a break. Like you're actually doing really good. Like, you know what I mean? And, and you know what, if you actually tried, man, you would totally kill it. So, I mean, you're just as good as like, you're not lazy. Like you see what I'm saying? That's deluding yourself. That's bullshit, right? I'm not that fat. I'm just, you know, I have big bones deluding yourself. Bullshit. I'm not afraid to talk to girls. Right? This is what I hear all the time. I just like, I, I don't really want to right now. Just, it just, it just, it's not something that I want to bull fucking shit. You're deluding yourself, man. This is not reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? So reality, you face reality. You can say, yeah, all right. This is what I've done. This is, you know, where my weaknesses are. This is my deficiencies. I, I want to know all of them. Okay. But then after you face reality, now you, you, you decide what you're going to make reality. See, if you want to change reality, you have to accept reality. First, you have to know it. You have to see it. You have to look in the mirror honestly and see what reality is. Once you understand and see reality for what it really is, then you can shape your reality. And if you're really good, you can shape other people's reality by controlling the frame. But the main thing that you can do when you see reality is shape your own reality because you can't shape something that you don't see, right? If you don't look at the clay, you can't mold the clay. If you believe that the clay is in a perfect shape already, okay, 
then what what can you do? You have a you're 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 looking at it through the wrong perception. You can't mold this into what you want because it's already perfect, right? You got to see the flaws, you got to see the defects, but you have to do it in a non-judgmental way. Don't come down on yourself because you suck right now. We all suck right now in different areas of, of your life. I suck right now. But when I say that, I'm not saying that in a way as to hate myself or to judge myself. I'm just acknowledging this as a fact. There are some things that I am shitty at that I suck right now that I need to fucking improve that I am, I am either unaware of or that I am aware of and I need to change. It doesn't mean I'm bad. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean I'm judging myself, but I'm understanding that honestly. Now, I'm not going to delude myself. I realize those things, but I'm going to say those areas that I want to change. I'm going to envision myself already as a person who's already accomplished that. I'm going to envision myself as a person capable of doing that. And like I said before, I'm going to call myself a fucking bulldog. I'm going to own that area of my life. I'm going to own whatever that deficiency is. And I'm going to fucking conquer it because I know that I can, because I know that's what I meant and built to do, right? There's no delusion there. Do you understand? I, there's, I think there is a subtle difference, and I do think that it is, it is easy to delude yourself, but I'll give you one last thing, and then I'll wrap this up, okay? Which is this. If you want to avoid that trap of delusion, first of all, remember what my definition of arrogance is. And I know that different people have different definitions. That's fine. This is, this is something to, that will help you if you understand my definition of arrogance, okay? So that's number one. Number two is this. If you want to avoid the miss, the, the trap, right, of deluding yourself, okay, fucking face reality. See it honestly first, non-judgmentally. Look in the fucking mirror naked and see exactly where you are right now and do not sugarcoat your past. Do not sugarcoat your actions. Do not justify. Do not come up with excuses. Just see it. See it. Don't judge it. Just see it, okay? If you do that first, and then, and then you make positive statements. You talk, you create positive self-talk about yourself, okay? Then you will not be deluding yourself. You won't be, because it won't be, you cannot see reality and delude yourself. Then what you'll be doing is you'll be, you'll be developing within yourself the courage, the fortitude, the fucking bulldogness that you need in order to conquer and overcome the things, right? You have to see reality to shape reality. The people that delude themselves are the people who refuse to see reality. They put their, they stick their head in the sand, they refuse to accept or see reality, and then they want to change reality by their words alone. You cannot change reality by your words alone. Your reality changes from, it starts from your thoughts. And in order for your thoughts to change reality, they have to be clear. They have your, you have to have an exact model or as close to the model as you can of reality in order to have those thoughts that will change the reality that will perform, that will come and express itself, not through words, but through actions that you take in your life. And that's how you change reality. Okay. All right. That's all I got for you today. I really hope this was helpful to you guys. You know, this is definitely one of those things that a lot of people struggle with, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to give you to do the positive self-talk and do this as long as you're facing reality first and you're not going to be delusional. Other people may think you're delusional, by the way. Fuck them. Fuck them. Who cares? I don't care if you think I'm fucking awesome. I fucking think it. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Like, I believe it because I choose to believe it. Because this is my... Because I know reality. I know I'm full of flaws. Don't fuck... Don't, don't get me wrong. But despite that, I choose... To, to be who I want to be and to strive to become who I want to become. And it doesn't fucking matter if other people think I'm delusional and they think bullshit. When I started this YouTube channel, people are like, what the fuck? Like you can give advice to people and make videos. Well, you know what? It's, we're 130,000 strong now. So, all right, that's all I got for you today. Click that subscribe button, man, if you haven't already and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.